All right, today we're going to demo for you uh, this Landis 3R Universal ID OD grinder. And it's universal because we have a fold down, swing down ID attachment. And we have an upper slide which can be adjusted forward and backwards. And the whole slide swivels at the base uh, to give you different angles of approach to your workpiece. Also, the work head can be swiveled a certain amount of degrees as well as setting taper on the table. Now all those dimensions will be given on our website for the quote on this machine. Also the size of these uh, tapers for the centers. You have one for the tailstock and one for the work head. Of course this has this external taper here where you can mount a face plate or a chuck on there. The uh, machine is currently wired for 440 volts, 460 volts, 480 volts. Uh, Any one will be fine. Uh, so since I have the, the head down at the moment, um, I'll just show you how that goes. I would think normally uh, guys uh, would do the grinding by hand, not using the automatic infeed because you really got to be careful with the... Um, So starting up the hydraulic pump, as long as I have one of these ID or external wheels selected, this is going to come on. So this is running right now. Uh, starting my work head, I can adjust my speed here to slow that down or speed it up. And this gets the table moving. I have this set so I know it's not going to crash. Just as a, an example of what you could do with that, or you could work by hand and by hand up here. So when we want to stop that, now this is a locking collar on the right side of the spindle housing. Uh, you want to have the spindle shut off because when you loosen this clamp, um, uh, you see you got a couple of arrows here, red and green. So green would be to open it. <clears throat> Don't have the right tool. All right, so this will swing up out of the way right now. And then you want to lock this down again. just like that. And now it's an OD grinder, so we can open up our stops here and slide this down. Give us a little more. Lock it on the top. Okay, so here's your OD wheel, and then we want to select OD on that selector switch, and then Start it up again. Once the pump gets running, you could start the wheel. Now, we have our table going back and forth. And over here, we have a selector dial to select the left side, right side, or both sides of our workpiece. So now you'll see when we hit the reversal stop, we're going to feed with our hand wheel here. Now, the amount that that feeds is adjustable with this thumb adjuster up here, this thimble, to get more or less feed. This can travel the whole length. I just wanted to keep it close together. Now this bar going across the front here, this is an adjustment for your table taper. You loosen both sides over here and over here and you put your 5 16 or 3 8 Allen wrench in there and you can you can adjust taper on the table. This is your table speed control. These two are for tarry or for dwell. Of course this is your tail stock over here. Now the headstock on this is uh, alive and dead meaning that it can spin like it is right now turning the the whole spindle or you can lock the spindle and just turn uh, the outside portion of it and um, have a dead center and rotate on a dead center for uh, center type grinding. Also, 
you have a hand wheel that you could use. It's a fine feed hand wheel just to position your part or do some parts by hand. And then you have a hydraulic uh, positioning up here. I can move this slide forward or backwards. This is not a set movement. The operator has to control how far in or out he wants to go. This doesn't have uh, a rapid in and out like other models. Uh, this particular model came with this arrangement. So there you have it. That's the Landis uh, 3R. Uh, cooling system is part of the base of the machine. There's a, a gusher pump or whatever uh, mounted on the side here that goes into the cavity, which you would put your coolant in there. The hydraulic unit is up underneath the machine in the back where you can get at it relatively easy. And the coolant tank, I mean the um, electrical cabinet, is right over here. So again, this is wired for 440, 460 volts, three phase, and that's the Landis 3R. Thank you.